What's going on, guys? Jake from SVG Tapes. We got Matt here with us today. We got the rest of the boys behind you. Yes, sir. We got ourselves here a 2019 Type R transmission mm -hmm. that I won't tell you where I got it from, but <laughs> I replaced one and it's got 20,000 miles on it. And first and second gear don't work. So yeah. we're going to take it apart and figure out what's wrong with it. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to fix it and yeah. Mini get it to somebody else. So first, uh, first gear, it won't engage first gear at all. Like physically the shifter won't move in the first. So that kind of makes me think something's bent, that it can't do it. Can't be find the gear to get right. um, And then second gear, it'll physically go into second gear. But as soon as you start to release the clutch pedal, it just grinds and like pops back out. That kind of sounds like a synchro to me. That's what mine does. Could be either pop the synchro is just slipped off where yeah. the fork or where it's supposed, supposed to, be. to be. But we'll see when we tear it open. Yeah. Everything else should be okay. There's no play in the input shaft or yeah, the clutch it doesn't feel tight or anything. The clutch wasn't that toasted either. No, the clutch looked good. And then all the other gears worked. I had to drive it in third gear just to get it here or like get it in the shop. It was crazy. But yeah. So yeah. Where do you think we're going to start with? We're going to. Take some of the stuff off the outside, like some sensors and stuff, just get them out of the way so we don't break them. And, uh, yeah, there's and a then, cooler over here, probably take that off. Yeah, there's a cooler on it, and then basically <laughs> we'll have to split this case open. Yeah. And because it's sealed through here, there's a seal in here, the input shaft seal. Uh, we'll take the fork off the release bearing, and then, uh, yeah, we'll split this open and you'll be able to see all the gears and everything in there. I just want to give them like a little walk around of it. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's clean, dude. It looks new. How yeah, many miles did it have? It only had 20,000 miles on it. Yeah, it's like literally. It, it's li really low miles. Yeah. Solenoid, cooler. Cooler, she gotta come. Cooler lines. <laughs> I bet you all the solenoids and everything are fine. Yeah. Well, it had no other lights. Just, yeah. It had no lights on the dash. It just mechanically wasn't working. Get it? All right. Fucking break into her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we ran to not a problem, but fluid went everywhere. So we forgot to drain the coolant. Let's run through the cooler. So we do that now. Catch it back when we got the lines off and drained. Dumb design. Oh yeah, dude. The engineers, they love us. <laughs> This is a vent for like clutch dust. It doesn't yeah. build up in here. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. So I will say on the front side, I saw a really good pry point. Like it's definitely meant to be. Okay. Yeah, like we just pry stuff through. Got all of the bolts out. Jake just got them all out. We took the cooler lines off. You guys seen that? Drained all the fluids that were left in those. We just took the release bearing and the yeah, it took uh, the the throw out yeah. and the pitchfork. And now we're ready to try and split the case. Yep. So Honda bond. Let's figure that out. <laughs> So we finally figured out why the case wouldn't come apart. Um, on the bottom side of this bearing, there is a snap ring that sits in the case, which I think that fell out, didn't it? Yeah, there were a couple of bearings that popped out. Well, the, yeah, but the snap ring that I was probably, I don't know where it actually went. <laughs> it fell somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, now we have a part um, 
I haven't looked it over too much. There's a little bit of metal, but something definitely was grinding. But it doesn't look too too bad. No though. gears like, look messed up at all. All the gears look really good. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes me think it's something else, not a gear. Yeah. Yeah, this this side doesn't look too bad either. Just have to like make sure everything's working and like really look at stuff, see if anything's bent. Yeah, yeah. I hear but like really at first glance, I see nothing really wrong. So yeah, something's right. probably bent. Yeah. Well, we'll get back to you, boys. Here's when you look too. down at this magnet thing, I don't even know what this is. To be honest. Wow. It's a lot of metal. Dude, look at that porcupine. Yeah. She. Yeah, it's a good bit of metal. Yeah, look yeah. at that. So it's simply, we'll probably have to take the shafts out. We yeah. should do that next. Take the forks off first, and then they just pop out, I think. All right. Hit a pattern. Wait, did you see that? I think it bent the input shaft. Or the counter shaft. Oh, wow. See that? One of them's bent. I don't know. Ooh. No, I think they're tight. Did you say maybe a bearing? Yeah. 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 Just the one. Uh. Yeah, like that's not. One week later. We're back. We're at like day two, even though it's probably like a week difference. I don't even know, but. We all work like normal jobs and have other shit to do, so we're not always doing this stuff, but we try our best to give you guys content as often as much as possible. If you, the more you guys like and subscribe for us, it helps us if you build, help build our channel up, then like we, we can't do it without you guys. So we always appreciate the help, all you guys that have been there since the start. If you look back in here, there is a plate. It has two 10 millimeters. It holds the shafts down. Yeah, you see those two yep. tens? There's like a plate down there. It hold, it just holds this down. And then, so like this holds this down. So we just have to kind of pull them all out at one time. I feel like, oh, lift it off. Lift the whole thing? Yes. Oh my God. Nice. Okay, hold on now. Let me, wait a second. Spring came out of this thing. This thing when all these forks were lined up right here. Yeah, right. They go in between that thing. And this goes yeah. under it and in that hole. So that just came out, right? Yeah, yeah, we lifted that it all, and then this, okay. this is what's holding everything in. So now, I mean, we might have to take it all out as one piece. So let's make room. Input shaft. These two went together, obviously, so we'll know where that yeah. goes. Let's just leave that together. I just put it here. I'm going to put them like this. One shaft on this side, one shaft on this side. Owie. Ow, that landed on my finger. What the fuck? Right. Oh yeah. I definitely think something's bent. <laughs> All right. It was a struggle. Oh, this is the input out. shaft. That is the input shaft. All right. That's crazy. That shit. Just now notice the space. Doinked. It bent. <laughs> is it really? You I think see it's, it. I think it's bent. <laughs> the camera's not gonna see it. Maybe. Oh, Looks like it's right at that bearing. Yeah, I think it did. I think it bent it at the bearing. Uh, over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Shit, that's weird. That's all right. It's detents. No, no, no. shift detents. Yep, that's a differential gear. Okay. I guess these these shafts are just to line it up. Line well, it up, and they're probably, it's probably an oil galley. Yeah, that could be too. Interesting. I'm gonna look at this a little bit more. Yeah. I wish there was a way to like. We need like a thing. Yeah, well, we're up. probably gonna need to press all the gears off or get them off. I forget how. I'm pretty sure they pressed on, but I forget how. I don't remember pressing them on in shop. But. They almost have to be pressed on. I guess they are, yeah. 
I don't like that play either. Isn't it? I don't know. Well, we'll have to do a little more research on it too. Maybe yeah. See what I am tells us. Yeah, this is more new to us. This is our first, yeah, this is first, our first individual like, trans right. teardown. It's pretty sick. And it's, it's nothing old either. No, it's yeah, brand well, new for I mean, brand new drivetrain. Yeah, it's only got 20,000 miles on it. 2019. I mean, it's a new transmission, but in the end, it's the same technology. Yep. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. still, shit. It's, not, it's not any different than any so, other front wheel drive transmission. Next step, we can't really tell if this is bent. That's what we're believing is the issue is that the input right. shaft's bent, but we I can't told really him we, tell. I'd, I'd probably order, I'll probably have to order one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll order that up, but we could, if we really wanted to tell, we'd have to press all the gears off and then like um get it on a lathe or something. something. Yeah. Have it spin straight, um, spin true. What are those things called? You know the dial, dial indicator? Yeah, dial indicator. yeah, yeah. You yeah. Would put like a dial on That's it facts. and see if it has like any play. We should actually probably have done that. But well we can still bench do it. Yeah. Nonetheless, we think that is the issue. Yep. Yep. Nope. That was crazy. That was cool. First trans job I'm rebuilding. It's pretty They're crazy. not hard. No. Manual transmissions are no, so much the same. Like, tear apart. Mm -hmm. As long as I remember how it was. Two shafts. <laughs> two shafts and shift forks. Yep. Yeah. A lot less than a uh, automatic trans with right. clutches and bands and shit. Let's do that. Mm. But if you guys want any more trans or not trans specifically, but rebuild tear downs, tear downs yeah. hit us in the comments and yeah. like the video. Show the video some love so we know that this is the vid types of video that you want. Jake has an issue with the Zest 2000 that we're going to yep, that's why be I looking really into. Seen it in a while. Uh, it's going to require a teardown yeah. and a rebuild. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because we don't, we don't really know. We, we well, have a very good idea. We know where in the car has a problem. but yeah. Don't forget to smash that subscribe yeah. button. Smash <laughs> the like and subscribe button. Please. So many people out there that might not be a professional mechanic or you, know, you still do stuff, tinker with stuff at home. If maybe we get some sort of nice tool kit, like yeah, maybe snap on kit together tools. and we'll do a giveaway for it, like something simple, like a yep. ratchet and socket kit. Yep. Um, tools are very expensive, hard to come by. If you'd rather us do like that with, or just cash or like Matt say like some merch in the future. Yeah. Uh, we don't have the money or anything to do a car giveaway yet, but. <laughs> no, sir. But you, we'd future. still like to do <laughs> something to give back to yep. people for, like give I said in the beginning. Support like the original like the OG people for helping us out like you know yep. thank you like one day we'll we'll make sure you get back what you we'll gave us so. Incomplete. Yep. so just hit us in the comments what you think would be a good mm -hmm. like, giveaway ideas but then we'll look at them and pick a pick an idea yeah I mean if it gets to it we can we can take you guys comments and then you know hold up a vote see what's up yeah mm -hmm. yep. yep simple as that yeah but right car yeah. parts money who doesn't like money yeah right money 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 money, 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 money. money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>